the 1995 NBA playoffs first round game Eastern Conference I think when he gets the hitch out and that'll have to be in the offseason Grant Anderson Orlando's on an 8 nothing run that's a wry smile on the face of Nick Anderson he knows how close he came Orlando Montrose fumbles the ball here now you're gonna see the magic out and running Grant ahead to Anderson. Watch how he takes off too soon. Barely gets it over the front rim. He was a little embarrassed by that. He got a nice roll. Came, came almost there to the hand. And he came into the timeout kind of laughing about it. He, Back to Anderson. Grant has a little trouble with it. Anderson for three. No trouble there. No trouble is correct. He can nail. So far, two of 13. Here's Wilkins. Two of 14. Ten disqualifications. Picks up his second foul, and that sends Nick Anderson to the line. And Purvis Ellison getting ready to come in for Boston. Uh, control Shaquille O'Neal, but they've done it even when he hasn't been going to the basket. Not a good sign when you're getting that many people in foul trouble. They've got to lead. Anderson kicks it out of bounds. Starting when Don Royal was down with an injury. Here's Shaw, kicks it out to Anderson. That's for three. Oh, mercy. Back to Scott. Misfires on this one. Saved by Anderson. Horace Grant got it. Yeah, the hustle play. Well, legends haven't been much help so far tonight. Another whistle. Well, Indiana had to uh, really surface last night because the Hawks are a little better than people give them credit for. And last night, really. As well in the second half, had a 10-point lead. Indiana was able to capture the game, but that's going to be a tough series for Indiana. How about that Houston-Utah game? Great right? basketball team. They have some holes. They have a lot of building to do to get back to a position where they ever were. Anderson posting up, and he uh, gets fouled. <laughs> yes, exactly. Anderson. However, they'll get one game in their building, and there's a significant amount of money in that. So uh, there are other reasons to be a player. Look at Orlando at the line tonight. This is the worst free throw shooting team in the league. And of course, they are helped immeasurably. Douglas drives the lane, has it rejected. Here's Nick Anderson. Grant got his hand on the ball. Watch here. Here, he, here goes Sherman. Bad decision. And eh, that's a bad decision. But a great play by Grant. And here's Anderson scoring. We'll be right back. Orlando. Anderson with 16, O'Neal with 14, and Horace Grant with nine. Last year, but they do have an outstanding home record, 39 and two. The only losses: Seattle and Utah. Well, you're young, but that's a severe lesson based on the season and the expectation last year. And they very, very competitive. Here's O'Neal. That's for three. Got it. Here's Shaquille O'Neal in the box, taking his time, throws it out. There is no. Dominic comes, but he comes late. He's got to come a little it's bit. It's like the June Taylor dancers on the old Gleason show when they move in, in unison. Nick Anderson is our Budweiser player of the game. 20 points, 7 of 7 free throws, 5 of 9 from the field. 73 45. Well, Portland. Went on to win the championship with a guy named Bill Walton. He was exactly the same record they had a year ago. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, the, the game that intrigues me is that Charlotte, Chicago, and Michael being able to get 48 points and then having to go to over nation along with great playing that some other clubs basically don't have. And I think that uh, you're, you're really going to have to back.